1622, on his deathbed and unable to speak, St. Francis de Sales was given a piece of paper and a pen and asked by the religious sisters who tended to his bedside what virtue he most wished them to cultivate. He wrote one word in large letters, humility. Here are five habits of the humble. First, you recognize your littleness. St. Therese of Lisieux was an expert at this. She knew how small she was in relation to God and embracing her own weakness and littleness, believed that she had the power to become a great saint because God loves to work with little humble souls. Second, you rely on God's mercy. Just like he did with little Therese, the Lord wants to lift all little souls to the heights of heaven. No weakness of yours is too great for his mercy. Trust that, rely on it. Third, you work to squash your pride. When you are tempted to pride, deliberately practice humility instead. Let me give you some examples. First, when you're tempted to think highly of yourself for something you've accomplished or some talent you possess, thank God instead. When you're arguing with your spouse and don't wanna give in, practice self-forgetfulness and focus instead on loving your spouse instead of being right. When you want to criticize others, refrain from the criticism and perhaps even encourage or compliment instead. Fourth, you don't take yourself too seriously. Deacon Douglas McManaman writes, the proud take themselves very seriously, but among saintly people, there really is a great deal of laughter. Fifth, you pray for humility. It's hard to accomplish great things without prayer. Get on your knees and petition God to help you become a humble soul. Pray with scripture too, allowing God's supreme example of humility, becoming man and dying on a cross for our sins, to sink deep into your bones and set your heart on fire with a Christ-like humility, and also a Marian humility that says to God, be it done unto me according to your word.